Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers and thank you so much to the newcomers. I can't thank you enough. I am very, very grateful and humble by every single one of you. And for other new visitors, if you like what you see, then please do subscribe. And if you do so, hit that bell notification for the new uploads when I do new tutorials. We are going to create today this beautiful flower. Now, I done this flower years ago. And if I'm not mistaken, the creator of this flower, uh, which I truly, truly adore because he is so amazing, uh, from Brazil. And his name is Marcelo Nunes, and he is just wonderful. And I've done a few patterns with this flower already uh, back in the days. Uh, it's been quite a few years already. And I believe this is his creation. So we are going to create this beautiful uh, flower. I believe it's called caracol, which means snail. I don't know why they call it snail, but okay. If, you know, whatever fits them to, for certain names, you know, um, so it's very simple and this is applicable on any pattern that you do or shells or table runners or doilies if you create with smaller thread than i'm using now because this is a four ply 100 percent cotton and hook number three and a little one for tucking loose ends and a pair of scissors but if you do with aunt lydia number 10 and it becomes so delicate so fine if you're doing baby blankets you can you know little girls or whatever with the number 10, um, Aunt Lydia is just so beautiful on blankets, um, pretty much on any pattern, any type of clothes that you are creating, also shells and things like that. Gorgeous. Very simple to do and very, very fast. So, um, of course, you know, each time I do create certain flowers and do tutorials on certain patterns, there's always something that comes behind it. So most probably it's going to be a table runner and this is going to be added into the table runner. But once I do that, I usually link all the links down on the description box so you can just click on and go directly to the tutorial instead of just looking for it. In order for you guys to see better the stitch, I'm going to create also um, on this uh, baby yellow, which is also number four. If you find the video is too fast for you, because sometimes I get ahead of my my game here. I don't know. I get in my bubble and I'm creating and I'm a fast crocheter. So just up top on the right hand side, there's three little buttons right up here. Click on it and it tells you to slow down the video. So you can slow down to the speed preferable to you. Very simple as that. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video on the way in or on the way out because it's important to have the video circulate. And of course, the more comments and the likes and subscribe, it all helps the channel to grow and to circulate worldwide. So I appreciate every single one of you. A big shout out to all of the people in the groups that's been following me and creating my pieces. Thank you so much to every single one of you. Big shout out to Karen Coffey. I love you so much. Um, Karen Young, uh, absolutely adore you. Um, Nancy Strand for helping out with the codes. Thank you so much for your patience with me and going through all the videos to see where I went wrong on the codes. Uh, and so thank you to every single one of you. Kat Andreas, for people that are looking for to do those macrame earrings, she is amazing. I will leave the link below in the description box. You can always visit her channel and create. Now she's doing uh, water bottle uh, covers, which is gorgeous. You guys should really visit her channel and subscribe to her channel, of course. That helps her out. We are here to help each other out. So a big shout out to you, Kat. Big hugs, big kisses. Please stay safe and thank you so much for all your support right from the start. I really appreciate you, Kat. You are so wonderful. Thank you so much. We are going to get started. So let's do this. So as you can see, I put a little pearl in the center. It makes it more charming. So we're going to start by the magic circle, which is you turn once. I use two fingers, but you can use one if you'd like. And I'm just bringing 
my circle to the front and putting myself into a comfortable position. I'm going to do chain three. That's uh, equivalent to a double crochet inside of this magic circle. I'm doing 15 more double crochets. So we're going to have a total of 16 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end. We're going to close it up with slip stitch on the third chain. I've done my 16 double crochet. I'm going to pull onto my magic circle. I'm going to come into the third chain and close it in with slip stitch. I'm going to do chain five, three, four, and five. Now, only at the first chain here, we're going to skip two space. The rest is only one, one space skipped, okay? So one, two, I'm going to go into my third one with a single, okay? So I'm going to have this little loop here. Chain two, I'm going to turn my work to the back. Inside of this loop, I'm going to work 11 more double crochets. With the chain three is another double crochet considered. We'll have a total of 12 double crochets. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12 that's included with chain three that we went up okay i'm going to turn my work to the front again now we skipped the two space remember at the beginning we're going to come into the first one on the left side not the first one here but the second okay we're going to pull through here we're going to bend our leaf backwards and we're going to close this in with a single we're going to do five chain again, two, three, four, and five. And from here on, we're only going to skip one because this one is occupied. Obviously, that's the first one we got busy with, with the three chain. So we're going to skip this one here and we're going into the second one. And we're going to close it in with single chain two again. We're going to turn our work to the back and we're going to do again the 12 double crochets. That's included already with chain two that we went up. We're going to have eight of these paddles all the way around. So uh, very simple. We're just going to repeat constantly the same movement and the same stitch. So two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. Now if you're creating it with very thick yarn or thread, you don't want to do 12. You might want to do just 10 or 11 um, because then it's like too thick on the space there. Okay, so we're going to turn again our work um, to the front. So we're going to turn our work, we're going to put it in the front, the right position, okay? We were working on this side, and now we turn it. We're going to come where we have that empty space of the chain here, the double crochet. We're going to come through that empty space on that uh, spot, that empty, and we are going to close it in with single. We're going to do one, two, three, four, and five. Of course, this space here is occupied, so we don't count that. We count this one, one, into the second space. We're going to do chain two again, so we have our loop here. We're going to turn to the back, and inside of the loop, we're going to create 11 more. So we're going to have a total of 12. Okay, I'm going to do my 12, and I'll meet you again for one more time. Okay, so we've done our... 12 double crochets so this is we did it from this side we turn around and we have our empty space here as you can see so we're going to just pull our thread here and we're going to do a single 
and then one, two, three, four, and five. Again, this is an occupied space. We count one on the second one. Then you have your loop. One, two, turn our work, and we're gonna create the 15 more inside of, uh, the 11 more inside of here. That will equal the 12. So we're gonna do this all the way to the end. And once we have eight paddles created, um, then I'll come back to you and show you how we're gonna close it in and start the other paddles in the back to give it that definition of this flower, which is these ones here, back here. Okay, as you can see. So I'll meet you at the end of the eight one. So I've closed in the one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna do my seventh. Did my two chains already. And I'm going to do my 16. That's included with chain two at the beginning. And then once I'm done, I'll show you how we're going to attach it into the first one. So I did my 12. We're going to turn the work around. Now, we're going to come exactly where we started the first one here. Okay? So right, not over here where we turn, but right over here. Okay? So I'm going to grab it from the back and I'm going to slip stitch it. Two, four, six, seven. Nope. I don't know why I was thinking it was number eight, but it's not. No wonder why it wasn't functioning. Okay, so we did our seventh as, as we were doing. I'm going to come into, so I've turned around to the front. I'm going to come into my space. I'm going to close it with single and one, two, three, four, and five. So easy to make a mistake, right, people? So I'm going to come here. We have the first member. We had skipped that first space here. Remember, because the first one we skipped two, I'm going to do a slip stitch and do two chain. On the very first one, we skipped two. So there's one available, and that's for this one to close it off. So we're going to do our 12 double crochets. And I'll meet you once I'm done the 12. Okay, so I'm done the 12. I'm going to turn around to the front, as you can see. And now we're going to go um, into that one there. Okay, so I'm going to close it up, not in the space, but you have this one just where the single is with a slip stitch. Now, I'm going to pull the thread a bit. I'm going to grab my little hook because we want to pass this um, thread to the back. So you would pretty much just come in here in between the petals. Okay, in between the paddles and grab your, your thread and pull it to the back like that. Okay, and get everything pulled back there. Now, we're going to do chain three. One, two, and three. Where you have your paddles, your single right there. We're going to pass our, our uh, hook through it. Of course, my stitch is always very tight, so let me get a smaller hook to get it through the single back here. And pull and slip stitch, and then one, two, and three. I'm loosening it up enough because I don't want it to be crampling up. On the next petal we have the single. Again, we're going to pass it through and slip stitch. One, two, and three. 
into the next petal back here and we have that single here where we attached our paddle and slip stitch and we're going to do this all the way around okay and two so you're going to have eight little loops also it's always best when you bend it then you can see where the single is okay and pass right through it so you're going to have these little loops back here like that okay and I'll meet you at the end. You're supposed to have eight little loops, okay? So now we've we have, we've done the eight little loops. We're gonna come into the first one here where we started and we're gonna slip stitch right through it. I'm gonna grab my thicker hook because I want them to be all the same size. We're gonna come inside of the first loop with single two chain oops not one chain and then we're going to do six more so that would be like a double crochet we're going to do six more double crochets so there's three four that's including with the first single and chain five six so we have one two three four five six one more seven one chain and one single so we're going to close it off the same way as we started next space next loop single one chain double crochet so that would be two already three four five, six, seven double crochet, one chain, and one single, all in the same space. So now you're creating these, these little uh, paddles in the back. Into the next loop again. Repeat the same thing all the way around. Single, one chain, do um, your a double crochet. So with the single, and one chain that's like a double crochet there's two double crochets so that's three this is four this is five this is six this is seven one chain and one single and this is eight okay and then we're just gonna continue all the way around and we'll fix it once we're done so we're done with it and we're gonna come here on the first one and we're going to slip stitch. We're going to cut. And tie it in. So I like to make knots in all my patterns to make sure that nothing comes apart. So it can come into any uh, loop back here. And pass my thread through it into these ones back here also and this way you're guaranteed that nothing is going to come apart and I forgot to mention if you're putting the pearl it's always good to leave a little bit of thread in the beginning which I should have mentioned that from the start I don't know why I don't remember that, but in case you didn't leave it, it doesn't matter. You could always put the thread through your uh, pearl and just make it a knot into it. So my string that I have back here, I'm going to pass it to the front. I'm going to grab it from exactly the same direction because we don't want it crooked sideways. And I'm going to pass it through the space here now you're going to line it up straight so it doesn't become crooked so you're going to pass your 
your hook, smaller hook, of course, not a big hook from the back. Pull the string to the back like that. You'd come inside of the hooks back here and you pass your your thread through it. Now I'm going to make a knot like I said. I like to knot everything to make sure that nothing comes apart. So I'm going to put a knot right here and I'm going to pass through it a few more times on the loops back here to make sure that it stays secure hidden in there. And it gives you a perfect finish that you won't even know where you started or where you finished. You cut the excess off and your flower, your petals are pretty much done. And of course, you know, you fix, you fix your poor little petals. That's all like squashed from doing the stitch. And then you apply it on anything that you, that you desire. And here is your flower just like that. So thank you so much everybody and I will see you on the next tutorial. Take care and be safe. Bye bye everyone.